set for next Thursday. Tonight, the Wauwatosa School Superintendent has a new message. It's time for action against violence. This after parents passionately expressed concerns about the safety of their kids. CBS 58's Gabriela Becerra live in our newsroom tonight with how parents are responding to that message. Gabby. Well, Jessup, some parents tell me the superintendent's message is encouraging, but it might be a little too late for some families. They say safety is an expectation that's not being met, forcing some to leave the district. Tanya Jar plans on enrolling her son, an eighth grader at Whitman Middle School in Wauwatosa, in a different district next year. I was hoping that these behaviors would have gotten under control by now, but I don't see that happening. As a parent and employee in the Wauwatosa School District, Jar tells me she's witnessed physical fighting, but says it's what she calls a culture of normalized inappropriate behavior that makes her uncomfortable with sending her kids to school every day. That alone is enough to make kids feel anxious. It's time for this behavior to end. In a letter sent home on Wednesday, Superintendent Dr. Demond Means tells parents he will no longer tolerate fighting and inappropriate behavior. The district has issued 14 expulsion notices this year, more than the last seven years combined. But we're not going to sacrifice our learning environment anymore for students who can't follow our rules. It's not just students. Some parents are also physically getting involved, forcing one school to shelter in place last week. We have a strong partnership with the Wauwatosa Police Department. Those individuals will receive citations. I think Dr. Means heard the concern and outrage on Monday night, and I think that's great. It'll be very telling on how and on what we see now going forward. Parents are hopeful Dr. Means will live up to these promises, but worry it will be too late for their own kids. Wauwatosa is a great place and we just want it back. And Dr. Means is encouraging students to use Speak Up, Speak Out as a way to report concerns while staying anonymous. While I was speaking with him this afternoon, students were actively using that tip line. Reporting in the newsroom, Gabriela Becerra, CBS 58 News. Gabby, thank you.